Hey, what's going on, Bills fans? It's uh, Thomas Carson here, and I just want to talk about the Browns for a second. I'm I'm really interested. I'm really thinking about the Browns uh, today, and um, I'm thinking about what they can do this this draft, right? So I'm interested because they got the first and the fourth overall pick in the draft in the first in the first round, and you know they're obviously not pleased with Deshaun Kaiser, and. He's not probably going to start for them. They're probably going to get a quarterback, whether that be Sam Darnold, Josh Arrows, and Josh Allen, Baker Mayfield, even if they draft him. I think what they could do this this draft is something very, very special with the Bills for both teams to work out very well. So I think, personally, I think they dive into free agency and they go get Kirk Cousins. I think they that's a must to, to put all your chips on Kirk Cousins and try to get him to the Browns. Now he does want to win, so you have to tell you have to you have to tell him you're drafting offense and you're plugging holes in free agency. You have to spend money, and you have to have you know players come out and play for you. You know, and I think the Browns, honestly, yeah, they went 0 16, but I think with a solid quarterback and a solid run game to definitely lean on, like kind of what the Bills do with Sean McCoy, get a running back who could come in and day one just start making plays. I think this is what you do. I think if you're the Browns, you go, I'm going to get Kirk Cousins. He's our guy. He's coming to Cleveland for sure. I'm, I'm making it happen. You know, even if you have to pay him like 150 million, you know, you, you go and you pay that man. You make him the number one paid athlete in the NFL, first off, first and foremost. Then you say, we're drafting Saquon Barkley first overall, no doubt, no if, no if, ands, or buts about it. He's going to Cleveland first overall. Now, let's say Giants, oh my gosh, we have three picks. You know, we have we have three quarterbacks, not three picks. We have three quarterbacks that we could go after. I think they take Darnold right off the bat. They, Darnold's gone. I think Bradley Chubb goes to Indianapolis, um, and I think, um, and then the fourth overall pick comes. Here's what I think that they, that they do. I think the Bills trade away Cordy Glenn, two first round picks, and a second round pick to go up to that fourth round spot. Maybe just maybe even like two first round picks, Cordy Glenn in like a third round pick or maybe a fourth round pick or something like that this year. You know, try to, you know, get that fourth round spot because then you'd have Rosen or Baker Mayfield to choose from if you're the Bills. And the Browns would get two first round picks and a starting left tackle to fill that uh, Joe Thomas spot. You know, yeah, granted he, you know, Cordy did have some injury problems this year, but, you know, if you can get him help, you could say, okay, this guy is tradable because you got Deion Dawkins there at the left tackle position, and he's balling. I mean, he's the he's the guy that's, you know, he's going to be there for a long time at the left tackle position. I mean, he's just good, and it's fantastic because he's, he's athletic, and he's a solid guy, and so that makes that left tackle – you know, Cordy Glenn expendable. So here's what I think the Bills do. I think they trade the first two round picks this draft plus Cordy Glenn um, to the Browns and maybe like another pick, maybe like, maybe like a third or fourth round pick this year. And you trade that to the Browns, right, for that fourth overall spot. Get Rosen or Mayfield, whoever, whoever you want more. I think Rosen personally, but hey, you might be like, mm, you know, I really like Baker Mayfield, you know, whatever you think is going to be best for your offense. I'm fully confident in Brandon Bean. He can do whatever he wants. So I think you do that. Plus, not only that, the Browns then get Saquon Barkley and two more first round picks and a starting left tackle and another pick. So I think if I'm Kirk Cousins, you know, I say, well, if you do, if you can do that, if you can pull off that kind of trade, you know, you know, you got a future in, in Cleveland. And I think the Cleveland Browns can really turn it around. I know it's silly. I know people are going to be like, what? You really think that? But if you really look at it, you know, like they, it could be the, they could be the Bills. They could, they could honestly win. They could go eight and eight next year if they, if they get, if they can rely on a solid, solid run game. You know, get some offensive linemen, get that can, that can play good. You know, give the quarterback some time. Get maybe another a star wide receiver or something with that. You know, twenty first or twenty second overall pick. You draft that guy, and you have a starting. Then you have a franchise quarterback in Kirk Cousins. You got a franchise running back in Saquon Barkley. A freaking generational talent that's you know gonna be a beast in the nfl no matter what i mean he's a you know Ezekiel elliott kind of type guy you know he just he's strong he's physical and he's fast and and i think you know they have to go that route and you know i think that's very important and then also i think the bills you get your guy you get your quarterback 
and I think it works out for both teams. I really could see it happening. Um, I could also see I could also see Denver going into Kirk, going to, for Kirk Cousins. I, it would be horrible if the, if the Jets got him for the Bills, but I think they um, I think the for sure Denver or Bron or, or Browns. I think they both of those would be fine to trade with trade up if you're the Bills. And you know the Browns, you could say I'd say that if I'm Brandon Bean talking to the general manager of the of the Browns, I'd say you want to save football in Cleveland. You get Kirk Cousins, you get Saquon Barkley, and you get our draft picks. You know, and you and you draft more guys, and you you really look at what's going on. You know, you you really draft some good guys, and you bring in some guys who can make some plays. Maybe you even trade down. Maybe you trade that twenty first for like a first rounder and like a second rounder next year, and you get that even more future. You know, you know stuff. So. I really think that that could be the trade of the century, you know, because that like that gives Cleveland and the Bills upper hand to get a quarterback, a running, you know, they get they they get their team, they get a team that they have a team that that you have to like look at and you're like wow, you know, you got you got to respect them, you know, because they got Kirk Cousins and, and Saquon Barkley, and you're like nah, they got some they got some options on offense to you know to go to, so. I think that can definitely happen. I also think Denver will go after Kirk Cousins, you know, full balls, you know, full balls deep, you know, in, into that. And, and you know, John Elway went the Peyton Manning route and they won the Super Bowl going a veteran quarterback. And I think they could do the same thing, do the same thing, you know, you did and go play, go play in the Super Bowl again. And they're because they're a win now team, win now, win now team. And, you know, you've got to, you still got a good defense. I, I, that's what I think. So I think Browns or Denver, um, are definitely the two options where Kirk Cousins could go and make a trade with the Bills to help basically both teams. Um, also, the Colts, for one last thing I'm going to say, Colts, they want to get back at the Patriots for, for pulling a switcheroo on them, you know, and I think the best way they do that is they is they um, they trade with the Bills. Give them Rosen, give them Darnold, give them somebody and say, you know what, fine, Brady's going to be gone one, two, three years maybe, probably not even three years, probably not three years, I don't think so, if Gronk, Gronk goes this year, mm -mm, not three years, not two years, probably one more year, and that's it, I don't think he's going to be in the league anymore, because I, and I think Belichick's going to be gone, so it's, it, want to get back at the Patriots, that's how you do it, you trade down, you trade down, and you, and you give the Bills your third round pick for a nice, maybe maybe a little bit cheaper option. You know, you don't have to give them so so much. Maybe they're like, you know what? We'll just we hate the Patriots, you know. And so for doing that, we'll we'll give you an easier, you know, not as price, not as a high price tag since you're rivals with them. So that's what I think. Tell me what you guys think. Um, just a little quick video. I just wanted to say, um, but yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know, do all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.